Looks like somebody bit a, the, the bill here. Larry wants to make sure that that stays in the shot. So. Since 2008, I have employed digital scanning technology in my art making process. Several years ago, my friend and trusted advisor, Jack Brogan, mentioned to me that there is a process being developed at Pasadena Caltech that prints 3D objects in glass. With that technology in mind, I asked Larry Bell if I could borrow one of his signature hats to create a digital scan to make my own 3D version of Larry's hat. What we have here is a blue light scanner. We're going to scan this hat with using blue light. Um, it's the next generation of white light scanning. This particular camera has 5 million pixels and it has a projector, so we project a pattern and uh, you can see the pattern on the, on the object. And at the same time, we have a turntable and the turntable is going to move this around and take 12 scans going around and uh, each scan is taking about a minute to capture 5 million points and then moving on to the next scan going all the way around so we should end up with approximately 50 million points on this hat. So this hat is consistent of 14 million individual points right now. So we can just look at one scan here. And this is 1 64th of the points that we're looking at here. We can actually a point. So this whole surface is made up by millions and millions of little tiny points. And what the software will do is once we have the entire hat scan, it'll go in areas that are a little bit smoother. It'll throw away some of those points so that we can make it a lighter weight model and then we'll build this into one continuous polygon model. So it'll be one smooth surface with no holes in it. When we scanned it, it was 16 million points, and now it's just under 6 million triangles. So if we turn on the edges and zoom in, you can see that it's built up of millions and millions of little tiny triangles. Jack, this is the stand that I was talking about, yeah. and um, wanted to get your input on it. I like the way this looked. I like the way yeah, well, yeah, this I think it, I think it's fit fine. in. They did this in clear. I kind of like the design. I think it's yeah. kind of modern. That's what I, do. I just keep that. I don't think that way. You mean just keep the yellow and just? Well, no, no. But I can do it in clear. Yeah. Do it in 316, it's clear. Well, this what, is what the hat. <laughs> I don't know. I can't read it. It's been. Marcelino. Yeah. It's a what? Marcelino, right there. Now, this is what we got. That's the That's original the scan. scan. Okay. Showing all the bumps and bruises. And what the scanner is doing is it sees a high point here and it's blending out. Right. Whereas in reality, there's just a hair sticking up Got or something. Got it, I see. It's a cast urethane and uh, it scratches. I think to really do it right, it's going to have to be out of a material that is glass. What you see here is Larry's hat in, it's verithane, it's a 3D printed piece that's going to be glass, and so this is the best way to visualize it. He really wouldn't tell me exactly what the history was about the bite, but he alluded to the fact that it might have been a bite mark from having to eat his hat at one point or another, but I don't know if that's true or not. 